What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this really, really interesting compact Forest River Wildwood FSX. Now, this is a really interesting floor plan and the folks over at Wildwood have been doing some interesting things with their FSX model, including this one, which I featured in a video a while back that's actually a toy hauler, but it doesn't really look like a toy hauler. This one is doing some interesting things as well and you can probably tell why. First of all, it's relatively compact, it's relatively lightweight, and you have this giant slide hanging off the back. Once we get inside, I'll give you a closer look at what's going on there. But you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so before we get started, as always, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a very light GVWR. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 923 pounds, which means the dry weight on this is only 4,015 pounds, 22 feet, 11 inches long. This is a pretty dang compact unit, to be honest, and it's relatively light. Now, you could tow this with a lot of vehicles, but because it's a little longer than you might expect, you know, a half ton truck would definitely be preferred. Um, only because, you know, if you use a small SUV, something like that, even if you have something like a Durango that has 6,000 pounds tow capacity or something that exceeds this, the length of this plus wind hitting it can make for a very unstable towing experience. So I definitely recommend at least a half ton truck for something like this. But let's hop inside, take a look at the interior of this unit, then we'll come back out. All right, so we have our Moride step above steps. As you can see, no slide out on this side, and this is the Wildwood FSX 169 RSK. Let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna start here in the front. You have a really huge, nice, full wraparound dinette up here. This is a great place. The only thing I think this RV is missing is a front window. If this had a front windshield, you would have a lot more light coming in. You have a small window right here. You have a window over there. You can open them up, get some great cross ventilation. But imagine if there's a nice, good sized window right here. But that's really cool. You have a 30 amp solar charge controller over here as well. I really like this. And this turns into a large bed as well. So if you have two small kids, you could easily sleep two. If you have a bunch of really small kids, you could probably sleep like four or five. And I'm sure they'd love to kind of just huddle up in this area up front. You have a two burner gas cooktop right here. No oven, but a lot of drawers. And you guys know me, I'm a big fan of drawers in any size of RV. Got another drawer down there. There's your fuses and breakers. Nice little graystone fan above it. You wanna make sure that the outside is opened up if you are gonna be running the fan. All right, it says do not open the slide even though the slide is open. So they probably fixed or resolved whatever this was on here for. You have a really cool compact microwave from Greystone. Nice good size cornered sink. That's actually a really nice upgraded cornered sink to be honest with you. Faucet here, plenty of room here. That's a great spot for a coffee maker. You have good storage over here as well, I imagine. Yep, two good areas for storage. On this side, you have your Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. Really nice spot over here to hang your clothes, jackets, things like that. Single air conditioning unit up top. Stepping back, you have a pass-through area. So this is actually where your bathroom is. Good size shower for this size of unit for sure. It's very basic though. You could easily upgrade a lot of this stuff. You can upgrade this part. You can upgrade all of that. And the folks over at E-Trailer carry all of this. So if you have an RV and you want to upgrade things incrementally, even stuff that's low cost, they have just about everything you could imagine to upgrade your RV. So check them out, link in the description. Actually, I put a lot of links in the description, all my favorite stuff. This has a standard plastic toilet, which isn't uncommon on these types of units. Nice window in the corner here. Nice medicine cabinet. You have a little bit of shelving space right here for your cornered sink. I like that they use the smaller bowl. It doesn't take up a lot of room and it still gives you the, the area you need whenever you're brushing your teeth or washing your face. Got some storage beneath it as well. Very cool. Little vent fan up top and then areas to hang your towels. Another door right here. So this is gonna take us into our bedroom. Queen size bed on a slide out which means you have a ton of room here at the end of the bed. If you close this door, it feels like you're in a much larger RV simply because of how they executed on this. It actually kind of feels like you're in the reverse of a fifth wheel because kind of like the overhang, your ceiling heights in here are probably six foot six 
and you have enough room to move around in here. You have the bed. The only thing that throws it off and makes it not feel like a fifth wheel is the big window right there. But check out all of this wardrobe space. So you got tons and tons and tons of wardrobe space in here. Counter space, lots of drawers, and they pull out really far. So you have a lot of room in here. This is one of those surprising RVs that you get into and you're not expecting something like this and then you run across and you're like, holy cow, this thing is actually really cool. You could even use this as a little work area. You know, if you travel, a lot of times people bring work with them, especially if they work virtually. And you can set up a computer, you can set up, you know, whatever you'd like up here to get yourself going. TV backer, you have all your plugs right here. But the reason why this was so impressive to me, if you're asking, isn't because of the space itself. It's what this looks like and feels like in a very small RV. A lot of privacy because you have a door, a lot of separation. If the kids are sleeping up front and you guys are back here in the back, you know, a lot of noises could be filtered out between here and there, so that's also a good thing. But there's only one AC in here, so that could be problematic, but they give you big openings above the doors to allow air to, to travel in from different areas. And again, they give you a fan up here to be able to bring air in from the outside if you need to, plus this ginormous window. You have a huge window back here that you can open up if you want to get some fresh air as well. And then the bed is going to lift up to give you storage underneath it. Oh, a lot of storage, actually. A lot of little containers and they have more of them down here if you want to take those out fill them up and then bring them into your rv but what do you guys think about this i'd love to know your feedback and opinion on this find this is a really cool floor plan very different all right let's work our way back out all right let's check out the outside of this rv okay we're going to start from the front but before we do that this is going to have an interesting price what do you guys think this costs just based off of what you've seen so far so this is going to have an MSRP of $36,738, but a sale price of $24,999 with $11,739 off of that MSRP. So from a value perspective, if you're just getting into it and you don't want to take that much risk, but you still want to have a lot of room and you want to feel like you might be in a larger RV than you're actually in, this might be the perfect RV for you. But starting up front, we have a power front tongue jack, another nice feature that this has that a lot of your lower end units may not. Spot for two batteries, you have a 20 pound propane can up front, but it seems as if you could go larger than that, simply because there's nothing preventing it from a height perspective to going taller than that. It's strapped in place as well, so I could see you putting a 30 pound propane can in here if you really wanted. Has manual scissor jack stabilization on the front and back. And check this out, you even have an outside kitchen. I really wasn't expecting to see this. So you have an outside griddle, really nice, great place to cook bacon, eggs, you know, biscuits in the morning if you want to. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Nice magnetic hold. More right step above steps. You have an electric power awning with LED light strip underneath it as well. Outside of your furnace. This is gonna have Castle Rock tires, only two tires because it's only one single axle. I definitely upgrade the tires. You could throw some Goodyear Endurance on here or Trans Eagles, throw something heavy duty on here. This is gonna ride on a, looks like a six inch I-beam frame, which is more than adequate, especially for this size. It's gonna have underbelly panels as well, which means it's enclosed. Very, very good feature to have. Has a four inch tubular bumper in the back for your sewer hose, spare tire has LED lighting as well and it is prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera. Very cool. Can't squeeze through there so we're gonna go around the other side. Okay so looking down this side your only slide out is a Schwintech based slide system which isn't bad. It's a lighter weight slide so that's not a problem. Stick and tin unit which means it's an aluminum sidewall over a wood frame on top of a steel frame. You have your black tank flush as well as your city water connection and your 30 amp connection right here. I don't know if you have a two AC option in this unit, but because there is a vent up there, you could always add a second air conditioning system if you wanted. Outside of your water heater, all your sewer connections, outside shower, fresh water connection, and then your storage, which is quite a bit of it. So you got a good amount of storage in here as well, which is really nice. They've, they've done a really good job with this unit overall. Um, I'm actually really impressed. It looks a little odd because of that giant slide hanging off of the back, but everything else about the unit really looks nice. It's a really great floor plan. But what do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.